I know I said I didn't want to watch Velma Season 2. But, um, since it was already greenlit, and, you know, they basically were confirmed to immediately have two seasons, I don't really think they're going to make that much money off of me watching this. But if a third season comes out, I'm definitely not watching it, because this shit was already animated, it was already made, it's going to come out anyway, so... Plus, I had heard, um, Scrappy was in it. I had got spoiled on TikTok for this ass show that Scrappy killed Velma. <laughs> um, it, a lot of people are saying it's worse than season one, which I don't agree with. Um, season one was a drag to get through. It was boring, extremely unfunny, way too sexual for the characters being, you know, high schoolers. Literally, the first episode opens up with them fucking basically naked in the showers. In the opening scene, no less. And cops talking about dead girls who, once again, are teenagers and calling them hot. Um, It, it was just disgusting to watch. Season 2, I'm not going to pretend it's some great media or anything, but it was actually watchable. I watched it all in one day. And... It didn't bore me. It was watchable. Um, there was actually one or two jokes that made me laugh out loud. Some of the jokes were, you know, okay. But most of the jokes still weren't very good. Or just downright terrible. But I think season two actually has something in it. Like, you know, I don't know, a little bit of passion, but not very much. Um, they're still punching down on weed for some reason. They have this long ass gag about how there's no bad side effects for weed when it's literally the most harmless drug. It, you know, it's still a drug at the end of the day, but out of alcohol that can make your kidneys fail, cigarettes that can give you cancer, and all that other shit, like heroin and cocaine and all that, it's probably the least dangerous drug, yet they're punching down on it for some reason i have no idea why but they just really hate weed um velma actually acts smart in one episode and then they completely ruin it where you think um amber the new non-binary character they added which they didn't even introduce them as non-binary until like almost the finale like they just kept referring to them using they them pronouns so i assumed they were non-binary but they, like, never said it, so that was kind of weird. Eventually, though, there was an episode where the women were put in a cave because they thought it was going to be women. Uh, they thought it was a woman serial killer, or blah, blah, blah. So they said, but what about people that don't identify as women? So they got a paid trip to skip town. Um, I just realized, I don't know if it was in the first season, but... Um, Frank Welker, the original voice actor for Fred, voices Fred's dad in this. Every now and then you can definitely hear it. But he, he is definitely trying to do a different voice, but every now and then you can hear it. That is Fred. I don't know why then they didn't use him for the original Fred. Um, but whatever. Also, they have one of the Hex Girls, but I think they might be non-binary too, because they left with amber i i don't know they never state that they don't really have many lines either and i think it might be the original voice actor um i'm not for sure though i didn't really look it up but i immediately recognized frank welker i always liked the hex girls and the few things they were in they just kind of became reoccurring scooby-doo characters for like no reason but they were always good um, besides the white girl with the pigtails, I, she was okay. I never really particularly cared for her. I liked the other two. Those were the ones that were always entertaining. Um, anyways, Velma season two was actually kind of funny. Not really that funny, but it was watchable. I watched the whole thing in one day. So, I mean, it wasn't really a drag to get through. I was just like, uh, this... This joke wasn't very funny every now and then. It was just kind of interesting. It wasn't all over the place. It wasn't the same jokes over and over and over again. 
Except for the weed episode. They really punched down on that for some reason. But in the first season, it was just like small jokes. Um, like, you know, jokes about men's dicks being small constantly, constant, constantly. They do have some of those jokes in this season. I don't care if they make those jokes, but, you know... If you make any joke and you keep repeating it, it's not going to be funny. It's literally something they make fun of in the show with Scrappy and how he overuses his catchphrases. Yet they were doing it themselves in the first um, season by, you know, making small dick jokes and all the other jokes that I can't remember because they just weren't um, very funny. I mean, the only reason I remember the small dick jokes because she ended up bringing it up in a fucking court case, which was crazy. She was just like, oh yeah, Fred has a tiny wiener. He couldn't have done this or something. It was weird. Especially since, once again, they're high schoolers and she's talking about his junk to um, an adult court guy to like prove Fred innocent or something. It's one of the strangest things ever. And I just find it weird that they had made fun of the idea of a talking dog in season one. And they kind of make fun of it here. Um, I guess it was kind of a reference, but it felt like them making fun of it. Velma says that she smoked weed one time and a dog talked to her. Um, but yeah, Scrappy shows up this season. And he's voiced none other than by Rex from Invincible. And uh, it's it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. There's times where I really liked him as Scrappy, and there was other times when I was just like, this is just Rex. He he <laughs> he wasn't the greatest as Scrappy. But then again, you know, most of the characters don't really try to sound like the original actors or try and seem like their characters, so... Because, like, Fred's just dumb. Shaggy's just kind of there. Daphne is the only one with a personality that you can stand, which I almost didn't like her this season because they had like hinted at her cheating, but she actually didn't cheat. She just cursed Velma or some shit. Um, and Velma is still miserable. She's still a dick. Every episode, every fucking episode, you can't make the main character this bad, man. Like, in shows with the boys, there's obviously going to be a cultivating fucking dumbass fan base that likes Homelander. But then again, even though he is one of the main characters, he isn't the main character. Velma is. It's named after her. She's the one we see the most, but they make her miserable. She treats her friends like shit, and she just complains and complains and complains, and always thinks she's in the right. Homelander, I don't like him either because he's a racist and a rapist, but, you know, at least with him, they they aren't just constantly having him bitching. He does bitch a lot, um, which makes him seem like a fucking man baby, which he is. But with Velma, it's just bitching, and that's it. I was starting to like her when she had that scene with Amber where she accused Amber of you know, setting the whole thing up, and it seemed like it could actually be true, but it wasn't, it, it, I don't know why they did that, but that happened, um, Fred's mom's here, even though she's dead, because she's haunting him or something to make him become a real man, <sighs> so stupid, even though this show, like, kind of pushes down on society, normal, you know, normalcies, like, um, how men treat women and shit like that, they still try to go, like, more far right, too, at the same time, it seems. Like, they try and make it seem like it's a Democrat show, like, oh, look, there's, you know, lesbians, there's, um, a non-binary character, there's people that are gay, but they get killed pretty fast, um... They make it seem like a more progressive show. But then they have this thing about Fred needing to be a man. It's it's so weird. Um, I, I just don't get what their audience is for. Maybe they're trying to be like Family Guy or South Park and make fun of everybody. But they surely 
don't do it very well. Because I just can't tell if they're pandering or just don't know what the hell they're doing at times. Though this season was more watchable because the jokes weren't as bad as the other season. And some jokes were actually somewhat funny. It still wasn't really good. I still think this show could have worked in two ways where they could have made, um, you know, the gang actually solving murder mysteries instead of, you know, dumb shit like in the cartoons. Like, yeah, I like the cartoons, but they wouldn't really translate well um, in a mature rated show because, um, you know, adults... Or like going out of business or something, dressing up as a fucking goblin in the gang, being scared of it. Just, you know, it would be kind of goofy. But they could have made them, you know, solve murders. Have a bunch of suspects. They could have made a show like this work. Or they could have done something similar like Mystery Incorporated. Which was PG and they made that and a really interesting show. And it still worked. Because it still worked for a kid's audience. They could have had something like the parents had originally started solving mysteries. But don't want Velma and Daphne and all of them to solve mysteries. Because of the toll it took on them. They could have had so many different options. It, it, I just don't fucking get it. On why the show is so terrible. It was better this season. But with the allegations against Mindy and just how unfunny it is, it really isn't worth it to watch the next season. But yeah, Scrappy's here now, I guess. Even though Velma like technically kills him, even though he's invincible because she gets in his body and throws his spirit out. I don't get how... His spirit can't go back in. They don't really explain that. And they still have the one thing that bugged me in season one. Where characters won't say something to another character. But they automatically fucking know. Like um, Lola apparently told Brenda and Kirsten off screen that they have their bodies back. Um, Don't know how she told them. She doesn't have a phone. She can't really use her hands. They literally pointed that out in one of the episodes where she wanted to cross stuff off her bucket list in case she died. And she said, oh, most stuff on my bucket list I have to use my hands for. So I, I, how did she contact her? And the most frustrating thing, even though, you know, they literally have brains and jars that can talk. And now they've brought in a talking dog, even though they've previously made fun of that. Um, the most confusing and frustrating thing that just bothered me is the fact that, um, the hot girls is what they're calling it, even though, once again, they're fucking teenagers, you know, just call them Brenda, Kirsten, and Lola, like, they're fucking names, they constantly punch down at the fact that men sexualizing women, yet they're fucking sexualizing dead teenagers, w what are they doing, anyways, the fact that they haven't rotted or anything i i don't know how she managed to do that um how the fuck have these bodies not started to decay can you explain that i guess not um because i guess this fucking show is for stupid people even though they explain everything else they're not they're not gonna explain that <sighs> very fucking weird a lot of people say it's worse than season one, which once again, I don't agree with. It, it was, it was better. It wasn't good though. And they give Fred and Shaggy somewhat of a demonic, but they still refuse to call him Shaggy. He's still Norville, which I think is dumb. In every version where they do occasionally call him Norville, he always says he doesn't like that name. But here, here we go. His name's Norville. They also make um a few references. There's like a wanted poster with a witch on it. Um you know, it was clearly from like the sixties cartoon. Um they say that Velma's popular now, so people even dress like her and we see um a girl that's white and a girl that's white dressed like Velma and Daphne. Personally I had no problem with the race 
changed. That's literally what made it um, something I wanted to watch when I saw the teaser trailer. It seemed funny. Where Velma was complaining on the phone about race swapping and then she was black. I thought that could be really funny. And then when the official trailer came out, it was so unfunny. Um, but anyways, yeah, they referenced that, um, they brought back the fucking cop dude, but they killed him again off screen. Most of the kills are off screen, even though the show gets violent and has really good animation at times. Most of the kills they don't show graphically when it's a fucking rated R show. Um, it's weird. It's weird. I, I don't get why they're doing that. <laughs> Um, almost all the kills are off screen and a little bit of blood splatter and they don't show the stuff they talk about. Like they just talk about how the guy's dicks apparently got bitten off. Um, weird, but they bring the cop guy back cause they had killed him in like the very last episode last season. And how they do that is by saying that he had a twin brother, but their voices are like the only thing that... That's a like. So kind of, you know, like Chucky, what they do with Devin Sawa. Um, so I guess that's cool, even though his brother was a terrible person. and He doesn't really seem like a good person either. And then he gets killed. He gets killed in like the final episode, I think halfway through, because Scrappy escapes and kills them. Because apparently, um, you know, the other two dogs unplugged the vacuum cleaners even though we only knew he was working with one of them so i guess he had another henchman or something so i wonder what's going to happen with the other two henchmen do they just not matter now that scrappy is dead i guess it's it's just something else i i can't say anything more about this show it's just so weird and awful but it had so much potential <laughs> 